Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys all doing? Aquarius, I'm not putting out three overall energy cards this week. I'll go straight to the reading. I will have singles readings up next Monday, so you can check them out. There may be a message there for you if you're single. All right, Aquarius. Clarity for Aquarius regarding whoops, your love life. Finance and career, Aquarius. There we go. Ooh, yeah, there's a painful ending. Could be a, a new beginning, a rebirth, end of a cycle, end of a painful period in your life. Ooh, some of you are definitely in your power. I feel like someone lost control of a situation here because they were trying to control things. They may want to have a reconciliation, but this is that rebirth energy where you may be feeling rejuvenated, feeling more positive in your power and ready to take off in another direction. You're going to possibly make a decision here. Rebirth is a Libra energy. They may want a reconciliation, but I don't know. <laughs> There's a little struggle for power here. We'll see what happens. Aquarius. So there's cancer energy. Yeah, there's a cycle that's ending. It's over. Things are going to start to go in your favor. Uh, somebody wants things to go in their favor as well as far as a reconciliation. But there's a little bit of a wake-up call. Somebody may call you. They may want to come and see you. Possibly. Yeah, somebody here I feel is uh, feeling just positive in their power. Uh, I, I, it could be you, it could be this person, you know, wanting to come and see you. They want to get something going here. I, I, this could happen very quickly, so I would be a little cautious. Yeah, there is this, look at that, yeah, you, you're not 100% sure. Princess of Cups. This is going to get you in your emotions a little bit. It's a card of savoring the moment. Taking your time, I feel, not, you know, staying in control of your emotions, not offering too much. I feel that's a decision you're going to make. I feel like you're going to make sure uh, things move forward successfully. Uh, you're using the power you have. It's all about keeping your emotions in balance, keeping them under control to do with the situation. Yeah, you may have a few fears. You might be a little afraid of something here or you're afraid of being hurt, right? You're not so sure about something or somebody. Things are going to start going in your favor. A cycle is ending, okay? Savor the moment, whatever it is. Because <laughs> this is what I always feel with this. It's just, you know, you want love, but you're unsure of this person. You're afraid of being hurt. Uh, there we go, yeah. I feel as though, yeah, there is some kind of truth. You are going to have some kind of success. Look at this. Somebody may want to speak a truth. Maybe they... Uh, rushed in too quickly. Maybe they were trying to control things. Uh, somebody definitely wants some kind of a reconciliation, but it's, it's all, like I say, it's a wake-up call. Uh, it's, it's time to just feel reborn. It's time to take off in another direction, and whatever it is you're going to do, it's positive. There is those fears, though. Yeah, you're, there is a little bit of fear about reciprocity. You want someone who reciprocates, and I'm not so sure you do. Uh, I kind of feel like you're finished with the situation, Maybe you're feeling the way uh, to take control of the situation is to hold back and only offer one little cup to somebody, okay? Because you're afraid of being hurt. Yeah, it's like a card of drinking your own tears as well. There's a, you know, You're a little scared of being hurt, but there is some kind of truth, some kind of a success, an aha moment. Somebody wants... Uh, to reach out, but they're afraid you're not going to reciprocate, you see, because I feel they tried to control things and lost control. Uh, but this painful period that you've been in, this Ten of Swords is over. It's time for rebirth, time for something new, all right, to release and heal. It's sort of rising above the situation. Yeah, purging and releasing and letting go. Yeah, I feel as though there's someone who wants to reach out to you. They want to speak a truth. They're hoping to have success. Maybe you're thinking if you don't uh, reach out, don't reciprocate to someone. There's a need to release here. There's a need for something to go, Aquarius. Purging, releasing, holding yourself in high regard, okay, moving forward. Uh, but I feel there's a person here that wants to have a reconciliation. I don't know if you still feel the same about this person, okay? Um, I do see some kind of success, some kind of victory. It's definitely an emotional victory, I feel. 
Maybe you stopped talking to someone because they needed to heal, they needed to release something. Maybe you're just holding back. Okay, maybe this person hurt you. There's something you're going to need to let go of here. Let's have a boo. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. What's this all about for Aquarius? You're very good at letting go. <laughs> you value yourself. And you're reaching for the stars, your hopes and dreams. Yeah, so there you are. Yeah, some of you have ended something. You're single. You're looking out for yourself. You're looking out for number one. Yeah, you're planning something in the future. It, I see a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Some of you have been keeping things to yourself, keeping your feelings to yourself, sticking to yourself a lot while you go through some kind of ending or healing. But I think you're ready for something here. I, I think things will go, yeah, there's this, you, you're feeling more stable. You have everything you need. Um, okay, you actually have everything you need. But I think you've got somebody who wants to put an end to a situation. Um, I feel they want something stable with you. I feel they lost control for some reason. This is somebody who's ready to give up their single life. I don't think you're going to be single much longer. I know it doesn't look that way, but that's what I feel. Or you have a person who wants to commit. They want a reconciliation. I feel this is somebody who wants something stable. They see you as someone they can rely on, someone because you take care of yourself. You have this independence. But I think either you or this person... I don't think you're going to be single much longer. I see you in a relationship, feeling reborn, rejuvenated, or you're just taking off in another direction. Whatever it is you're doing, I think you're going to have success. Tell me about the 10. Yeah, so there's a little, someone here, yeah, you've got someone who has a little regret, remorse, or they're a little bit worried, or they feel guilty. Um, they've had a bit of a wake up call here. Maybe you took off, you took your power back is what I feel. And you're doing it by not offering your emotions, feelings. You're not talking to them. You're not reciprocating. Maybe this person hurt you. They, they, uh, this is someone who wasn't looking at that two of cups. They were focused on some negative energy and they lost control. They were using all the power they had to control the situation and they regret it. Uh, you maybe have taken off in another direction. I feel as though you're definitely in the single mode. I can see that, or they are. But I don't think you're going to be single much longer. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Some of you may have had some regrets. Maybe you uh, took off in another direction. Maybe you're worried about where you're going, you know, about commitment. Um, feeling a little stressed and worried about finding that two of cups maybe you feel like there's no hope but things are actually going in your favor yeah you're ready for to leave something in the past and move forward to take a leap of faith i feel that you could have an aries you have somebody here aquarius that wants to take a risk a leap of faith you're not going to because you're afraid of being hurt this person has to come in if they want things to go in their favor um, they're going to have to take that leap of faith. This is someone who wants to put an end to something. You know, I think you're just ready for a new path. And I but you've got this energy of this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Cancer. Uh, Libra. Pisces, Scorpio. Right, Aquarius, let's have a boo here. Princess of Cups energy. Uh, you're in your power. You know what you want. You're not, you're standing in your power. You took your power back from someone. They were trying to control you. I feel as though you ended a situation because you weren't about to take a leap of faith. You're ready for something new though. And that's what's making things go in your favor. And they're going to. Someone here, they see you as very determined, very strong, very capable, very independent. You've got like this newfound independent energy, uh, but this is how someone is seeing you and you're holding back. You're in control of your emotions. You know what you want and you're not settling. I think you got someone who might be a little afraid of you. <laughs> you're very powerful. <laughs> Maybe they're afraid to take a risk, a leap of faith towards you. They have some regrets or worry about um, a situation. This, yeah, tell me about the three of swords. Boy, let's get to the bottom of this. Yeah, you got somebody who wants to talk to you. They want to apologize for hurting you, hurting your feelings. They want to come in and talk to you. They could be a Pisces with that fish, Cancer, Scorpio, or it's just an apology. But this is someone who 
you're definitely in your power. I think this person's a little afraid, a little apprehensive uh, of you. You're very strong, very capable, uh, very independent. You kind of have it all going on. And uh, I feel as though this is somebody who's had a wake-up call because they, I feel they didn't make you feel safe and secure. They weren't stable. They weren't reliable. Maybe they didn't see you that way and they regret it, whatever the situation. So I do see some Aries, Leo, or Sag energy here. But I feel this is how this person is seeing you. Yeah, someone wants to offer you the big cup. They want to apologize. They want another opportunity. Uh, to talk to you. Maybe you feel this person's not sincere. You're a little afraid, maybe. Uh, but you're in your power. I don't, I, I actually feel they're the one that's a little bit more afraid of offering you this cup. Maybe they're worried you've gone off. You've taken off in another direction. You're off on a new path. You're holding back. You know what you want. You're keeping your emotions in check. You're not letting your emotions run away with you. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there's someone here who's very burdened. They feel responsible for hurting you. Uh, they're burdened by something. And uh, I feel like, you know, what you want, though, is you want someone who takes responsibility. Maybe, you know, this is someone who maybe is, uh, you may have had this on and off situation where this person, they come back around and maybe they've already apologized. But maybe you didn't feel they were sincere. Okay, they didn't take responsibility, but they actually do. And I do feel they want another opportunity, maybe to apologize again, possibly. And there is a truth. There is success. This person wants to get this. Oh, they want to put an end to this. They want to speak the truth. You know, they want to have success. I feel like you're going to get it. But, you know, they're a little burdened. They're a little bit worried uh, that you won't reciprocate. Okay, yeah, that you have other options, you're reaching out to other people, that you won't be interested. They see all those possibilities. They're kind of thinking about this. They fantasize, right? They look at this. They actually do see the possibilities that you may not be interested, that you may have already healed and released them and gone off on another path. You're, I, I feel like how you're going to have victory here is by not offering this person all of yourself. You're taking this stand. You're, you've been focusing on yourself too. I feel uh, money, career, finances, anything that you're focused on that's creative right now could be very benef beneficial. Maybe you're a little afraid to take a risk with something, but I feel like it'll go in your favor. You may have to take a risk when it comes to money and finances. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to be very determined and very focused, but you know what you want. So I feel as far as your love life, you're holding back. You're kind of savoring the moment here. You're drinking your own tears. You're in control of your emotions. And that's how you're controlling this situation, how you're in your power is by not giving this person all of yourself. This person sees the possibilities that you may have other options. They feel burdened. Maybe they weren't reciprocating. Maybe they were reaching out to others. Maybe you found out this truth. Well, they do need to. They want to talk to you, though. I can see this person, the truth, the epiphany. They're burdened. Maybe they know that you know or something like that, okay? But this is that lack of reciprocity. You want someone. There's someone here, like, you know, they're starting to see you. Uh, I feel like you're not talking. I, I feel like you've stopped talking to this person. You may have other people reaching out, other options. They see that. But I, they're starting to see the possibilities here, all the po the positive energy. Uh, this is somebody who might have been afraid to share their feelings, apprehensive, afraid of being hurt. I don't know. Okay, a lot of different scenarios. But I feel as though maybe they came in to apologize. Maybe it didn't feel sincere. Uh, maybe it's because they were afraid to offer you the big cup. They didn't. They were trying to control their emotions. They didn't want to be too emotional. <laughs> Because I see the the Page of Cups and the Princess of Cups here. Ah, you both are trying to control your emotions here. You're both trying to... Uh, I think the situation got out of control. Yeah, I think this person's burdened. Yeah, they want to release something. They feel like you're. it's possible that you may be out dating, meeting new people, uh, that you're letting them go. Uh, I feel like, you know, you're kind of reaching for your hopes and dreams. You, you want to... Get out and meet new people. But I think this person is a little bit worried. They see it. They're burdened. I think this person is, uh, they're having a wake-up call about their own stability. Uh, this is person, I feel, they weren't reliable. They see you that way, though, and this is the truth, right? They're starting to see the truth in the situation and what happened and why. 
you want a responsible partner. You want success, someone who pulls their weight. And I feel they weren't. They weren't reciprocating. They weren't giving you. You felt they had other options, so you kind of let them go. They know. They see this. They see you moving on, meeting new people in your community, socializing. I feel like you're just in a happier place. I do. I, I feel like you, you're you going through something here to do with this rebirth, feeling rejuvenated. It's, this is this time to go, using all the power you have to to push through this energy by not allowing your emotions to get the best of you. Very powerful. But that's what's scaring you. Yeah, there's somebody here. Yeah, you're making a choice in love. This is your choice. to. You're not settling. You want someone who focuses on you in the right way, not the physical. You're not rushing into anything with anyone. But I can see this person looking at you. There's this bond, this connection between two people. Even if you love this person, you're holding back, all right? Because I feel as though you kind of see that that physical chemistry isn't everything. There needs to be love. You know exactly what you want. You want a bond. You want someone who has your back. You want someone who builds you up. And I feel like you are. Someone sees you that way. Someone who will build them up, right? Somebody who's very powerful, very focused. Uh, you want someone who focuses on you, though, like not on other people. And they don't like the thought that this person does not like the idea of you reaching out to others, meeting other people. They're afraid you're not going to feel the same or reciprocate. Tell me about this. Yeah, they didn't see the possibilities, the positive energy, all the wonderful abundance that you have about you. They're very much in their emotions fantasizing about you about reaching out talking to you but they see it's possible you like may have met someone new yeah look at that yeah so i feel as though what we have here is somebody who they weren't invested right they are starting to look at this maybe um they're thinking of investing they're not sure if you're invested in in anyone else but they're looking at this they're waiting for the right opportunity yeah they're becoming very clear this person's um strategizing they're up in their head doing a lot of thinking about the possibilities that you know they weren't invested maybe emotionally uh, a little bit disconnected thinking with their head over their heart being very logical Wow, yeah. So they're thinking about commitment, a solid foundation. I feel like what you have here is someone who's thinking about giving up their single life and committing. Uh, they don't want you to uh, release them. They want to heal this. They want to get together. It's a little bit of a reunion, a get together. Maybe they're strategizing. Maybe they're going to reach out and offer you something. But they're looking at all the possibilities of this communication, the way things would go. They may be just waiting for the right time. They're worried you may be invested in someone else now, and you may not be interested. You may actually even be in another relationship. So uh, I don't know. You probably know who this is. I think you just got someone who's thinking about commitment and marriage, giving up the single life, putting an end to it, moving towards something stable, feeling ready for something new. It's possible they're like that. They have some regrets for taking off in another direction or not trying to control things, and they lost control because of it. They weren't seeing this connection, this two of cups. Yeah, you got someone here, the emperor, somebody who's definitely uh, looking at this energy. Somebody is thinking here about commitment, marriage. Uh, they're very determined. This is someone who doesn't want to give up. This person doesn't want to give up on you. They're looking at this burden, the responsibility. Feel they have a lot of burdens. They have responsibilities. They may be an emperor. They may have, a, you know, uh, they could be a business owner running a company yeah they they're definitely all about that stability but this is the burden this is a responsibility they want to speak some kind of truth it's bugging them they're coming in very determined here i actually feel they're yeah they're coming in they they're learning something here they want to move forward they want to leave something in the past and move forward they i feel like this is someone who didn't really take the time to get to know you because they wanted everything their way Okay, yeah, this is someone who may have a lot of people around them, a lot of options. They weren't fully invested in you, uh, so now you're not sure. Yeah, they're not so sure if you're going to reciprocate, but they do think they want to uh, talk to you. They want to move forward. They want to leave this in the past. They want to move into calmer waters. They may actually ask you if you want to go somewhere. This could be healing for both of you, because a lot of times they see the stars, two people coming together to heal. 
uh, to go out. They may ask you out or may want to move forward, get to know you, introduce you to their friends and family, and just leave the past in the past. But it's really all up to yourself here. They, they see very positive things about you. They don't like the thought of you being with another person. Uh, I see a Gemini energy. Some of you, it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, they're very much in their thoughts. This is about clarity, the truth. This is about, uh, they're trying to figure out how to have success. <laughs> how to move forward, how to communicate. They may be planning a little trip. They may want to come and see you. Uh, they may want to... Um, it could be at a bit of a distance. They may be traveling into your neighborhood. But I feel they're planning something. They're taking charge of a situation. Okay, strategizing this. How to get control back. <laughs> they they know they need to leave that behavior in the past. They've, they've learned. Okay, this is someone who's leveled up. Uh, so... Yeah, I think you got someone who just wants to talk. They want to make peace. They may want to take you out. Uh, they may want to get together. Uh, they may be traveling, like I said, into your community. I feel like they just want to get together. They want to do something with you. Yeah, they're at this crossroads making a decision, weighing the pros and the cons. Uh, they may have a choice between several people or they feel that you do. They're weighing the pros and the cons of all the possibilities, how this could go. If they come towards you, they're kind of gathering info, like they're gathering that intelligence. This person's smart, right? They're kind of preparing themselves so they have everything they need because that's what the emperor does. The emperor strategizes, plans everything, very articulate, and then executes it, very much like the king of swords, but with that Mars energy, right? That, uh, that energy, that fighting spirit, going after what they want. So I feel they're headed in your direction. Yeah, they're weighing the pros and the cons that they should talk to you, reach out, what to say, how to say it, how to approach the situation. Uh, they may be trying to figure out where you're hanging out if you've met someone new. Uh, like they want to be careful what they say because they don't know if you've moved on. Uh, they don't know if you've, you know, they don't know how to approach this. They're at this crossroads, this decision. It's a bit of a struggle. Um, you could be, if they do approach you and communicate, you may weigh the pros and the cons about whether you want to heal this or you want to keep moving away from this person. Okay, I can see that energy. But there's this energy of reading between the lines, weighing the pros and the cons, the, uh, the good outweighing the bad, things like that, this approach, this communication. Yeah, the truth. They need to speak the truth if they want to have success. They're going to put a lot of passion and energy into this communication. They're going to try to do things right. And uh, it is a challenge. <laughs> They're, they may come and tell you a truth. Maybe they had other people they were dating. Maybe they were trying to release something. Maybe they were on dating sites. I mean, it could be that simple or had a lot of people in the community they're dating and they maybe wanted to tell you they didn't. You know, who knows? But I feel they're at this crossroads. Maybe they were making a choice between the two of you, weighing the pros and the cons. And I do think they're going to talk to you about it. They were struggling. They feel burdened. I do. And I feel like this person, like they're having a wake up call. They realize that you want to feel safe and secure. You want someone who's reliable. And they regret this for not making you feel safe, not being reliable. I feel they're apprehensive. I do think they're a little scared of you. They see you as very powerful. You're, they do see you as somebody who's very focused, hardworking, someone they can build something with, right? Like this, they see a lot of good things about you now. Hmm. You know, and it could be, I mean, this could be happening right now, you know. This is somebody who doesn't want to make a bad decision. They want someone stable. They want a good partner as well. They want someone who pulls the, their weight. Maybe they felt you weren't someone who would pull their weight. Maybe they didn't take the time to get to know you. Maybe they were too much focused on something or somebody else. Maybe their business, career, finance, it could be anything. Okay, but see that? This is that investment. Wondering if you're invested in anyone else, your other options. They're starting to look at this. They're taking that time to look at the positive energy, the possibilities. Yeah, they want to make sure they have every, all the information they need before they communicate, at least the best they can. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, you might have a choice between two people yourself. You may weigh the pros and the cons. Yeah, manifesting. We got two of you who are possibly mirroring each other. Uh, you could have 
Um, could be a Gemini. They may have Virgo in their chart. Really could be anyone. I, I, I definitely feel that they are uh, have a heavy air or they are not an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, very strong Gemini. This person's manifesting you, but I think you're mirroring each other. Yeah, there's a little bit of mirroring. They see you as a manifester. They see you as somebody who's very capable, very independent, very strong. And uh, they definitely have some regrets. I feel they want to offer you the big cup. I kind of feel this person's already come and maybe tried to apologize or reached out or tried to tell you a story. Um, they're apprehensive. I think this person's scared of being hurt or they want to apologize for hurting you. And I think they were trying to, con like I said, control their feelings. They didn't want their cup to run it over. Okay, so they were kind of a little emotionally detached maybe. But I think their cup is running over now, big time. Yeah, they want to have another opportunity with you. They want to offer you the big cup. They see you as the empress. Wow, Aquarius. They, I feel they may have Libra in their chart. I'm seeing some heavy Libra. But they could be Gemini for some of you or have that energy. So they're manifesting this. Oh, gaining, gathering information, the tools. Trying to find out if you're with anyone. What's going on with you. If you're still single. They're thinking of giving up the single life, and I don't think you're going to be single much longer, but I do see that you're in this Empress energy. You want this person to offer you that emotional offer, that fresh new start. You want love, and um, yeah, you're very much in this Empress energy. You know what you want. They're starting to see the possibilities, all the abundance, and uh, they're probably a little worried, afraid that you've moved on. Somebody else has offered you something, right? They're thinking of all these possibilities, all the things that may have happened, or could happen if they don't <laughs> come in. They, they could be in your energy now. Yeah, they see you as very loving, nurturing, and caring. You want someone who reciprocates though, right? You want that reciprocity. I do feel like you're healing. I, the Empress, when you hit that Empress energy, it's that healing energy. Uh, you're loving yourself first, taking care of you. But you want love. And uh, they want some of that. They see you as caring, loving, nurturing, uh, somebody who's very healing. They want to be with you. They want some of that. They got to offer the big cup and a fresh new start. Absolutely. I think you want it. Yeah, look at this candle just burnt out. Something needs to end here for this new beginning. So, yeah, you are definitely. I think this person's very burdened. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they got some obstacles to overcome. They're burdened. Maybe you had an argument. Maybe there was competition, some kind of conflict. They want to put an end to this. They want to take action. That's that emperor energy. Someone who takes action, coming in to fight for what they want. They know what they need to do. This person's very smart. They know what they need to do. They don't want you to go off with another person. They want to have success with you. I think you're going to have a successful communication. I do think there is a victory there for you in some kind of truth. Okay, yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and we'll wrap this up. Yes, very nice. Yeah, there's something that's about to end. You've got a new beginning possibly uh, with this person. Yeah, see there's that truth, that connection. They want to speak the truth about this uh, soulmate, right? This not looking and seeing what they have right in front of them, which is an empress, somebody full of abundance and love. You have so much love to offer. Uh, but you're going to keep that to yourself until you're sure that, you know, anyone who comes in had best come in that way. Yeah. You've healed yourself. You're purged. You're done. Yeah. I do think you could leave this behind, whatever they did. If it's nothing too serious, it all depends on the situation, how things started, okay, between the two of you. But I do see a truth and epiphany. They see you as that soulmate connection and they want to connect with you. But you may just decide to date this person and be friends first, kind of see how it goes. I see success, though, of, of you sharing your emotions. And that's what you do. I think the only way to have success is for both of you to share your feelings, uh, your hurts, your fears, everything with the other person. I do see this person coming to see you, wanting to come and see you, to take you out. It's all about the approach. They're kind of tossing about how to approach this how to speak this truth to tell you something it's possible they may have been weighing the pros and the cons between two people and didn't tell you they now need feel burdened um, there maybe have been an argument you know obstacles to get this truth out 
I do think they're up for this challenge, though. They see you as somebody who will <laughs> fight for what you want, though. They actually like that. That's that Empress energy. You know what you want. You will be compassionate and kind. You will be gracious, okay, to this person, I think, regardless. Tell me about the five of... There we go. Yeah, this person's been working on themselves, building something. They're ready to put some effort in. That's probably what yet a conflict. They weren't carrying their weight. They weren't doing their fair share. Um, they just didn't put any effort in. It's kind of like they wanted you to do everything kind of energy. And I, they're looking at that. They're thinking about it, working this out, overcoming these obstacles. It is going to take a lot of work. It's two people that have to come together to build this. Yeah, there is something here to build upon still, I feel. For some of you, anyway. Others of you, you may cut this person out, weigh the pros and the cons. You may move towards another person. You may have already met someone new and released them, okay? Maybe if they come towards you, you're going to kind of be kind and compassionate and kind of like, sorry, I have another person. It's quite possible. I can see that. Uh, but I think most of you, it's leaving the past in the past, healing, reaching for the stars. This is your hopes and dreams, now, this person sees you as their hopes and dreams. Like, I feel like they, it's like they've learned something here. Yeah. Some of you might move away to avoid a disaster. Maybe that's what happened in the first place. Oops, there we go. This card wants to come out. Yeah, so chaos. There's been some chaos and conflict, overcoming obstacles, taking action, five of wands energy. Yeah. Yeah. I think this person has a lot of people competing for them. Uh, I feel as though they're really tired of it. It's too much work. They're starting to have an epiphany and see the truth. It's so much better to just have a soulmate, that person. But I do think if you do go with this person, the, the success will be in connecting emotionally, getting on the same page, uh, weighing the pros and the cons. Try to leave. If you have somebody that hurt you in the past, try to leave that in the past if you move forward with this person. Don't bring it into this new connection. I feel they're aware of that energy too. Well, it could be both of you having a little of that. Uh, but I think this person is tired of chaos and conflict. Yeah, they're lonely. They miss you. Um, feeling kind of left out in the cold. Feeling like there's no hope. I think this person knows. I, I'm going to tell you. They, I think this person has this emperor energy where they want everything their way and they have a lot of chaos and conflict they don't want to put the work in and they don't want the responsibility of a relationship but they're now starting to see it's much more work to date other people to juggle um, to create conflict with people being angry at them all the time you see that's that crossroads that choice that path they're choosing another path so there is this deep knowing, yeah, this person's having some aha moments, they're thinking very clearly, I feel they, I feel they probably have a lot of deep feelings for you, and I do feel this is someone who, either they hurt you or they've been hurt in the past, but they're, they are a little afraid of you, they're afraid you're going to be angry at them. Uh, I don't know if you are, but that's some negative energy thoughts that need to be released, they want to heal this. Okay, you probably know, Aquarius, with this deep knowing. See that owl, that wisdom that this person wants to heal things? Uh, or there's a lot of things that need to be healed before you can move forward. I don't think it's going to be um, this perfect smooth sailing. I do think there will be some ups and downs. Um, but it's all about how the two of you approach this together, this path that you're going to go down. So I think they want to go somewhere, connect with you, um, spend some time with you. I think they want to get you alone. Yeah, there's some unfinished business here with this person. Uh, they're not finished with you. <laughs> no, they don't want it to be either. I can tell you that right now. I, I see somebody who's been really in their head. Uh, yeah, they want to communicate. See, they're thinking a lot about their emotions, communicating with you. They're doing a lot of deep thinking. Uh, there's unfinished business here. They, they don't want this to be finished. They're realizing that now, that they need to work this out, that they need to figure this out. And I think they're seeing it uh, something worth building on, leaving the chaos, conflict, the burdens behind. They see you as a partner, someone who would carry the weight. I kind of feel maybe they didn't think you were in the past, or maybe that's how you felt. Uh, but I think something is about to change. I do think you're thinking of each other. Uh, some of you anyway, but they're definitely thinking of you uh, and emotional about how to communicate, right? How to approach this, to speak this truth. I do think there's going to be success. 
but they want to make sure uh, it's a win or lose kind of situation right they either have to take action or you have other people coming towards you they know it because they see you as the queen of wands they see you as um you know someone who knows what they want it's like talk to the hand sorry right it's either you come in right or don't come at all like i know what i want and i'm not settling so yeah they they get that empress energy lovely i feel your person definitely has a lot of you it's a libra okay because and i don't know why i feel that but partially it's a very strong libra energy in this reading some of you it is gemini you could be comparing a libra and a gemini all right weighing the pros and the cons comparing them if you have several people around you making the uh, you know who's the best person who's the best choice <laughs> You might be dating a couple people, but I think you're going to let somebody go. Yeah, I see a reunion. I see a get-together. They might even be approaching you, making you some kind of offer, a trip to travel, to go somewhere. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They're going to take this action. And uh, they kind of have one foot in the door because they're not really sure what to expect when they uh, reach out. That's what they're worried about. This is a challenge for this person. So I wish you the best. If this is what you want, you could connect with this person, but it really has to do with how you feel. Some of you are going to compare this person to another person or a past person, but it's telling you leave that past person in the past, that negative energy, take the things that you learned and bring them forward. And I feel this person is in that same energy. All right, so I wish you the best. Take care of yourselves. All right, I hope you have success and connect. Bye for now.